are almost there. We are almost there. You have inspired me to get to vlog 999. This is number 999, which means tomorrow on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas by the way, almost, almost there, Somebody asked the other day, like, did I plan out the fact that Vlog 1000 would publish on Christmas Day? I wish I was that good. That is not the case. I did not plan this out, but this is how it's happening. I'm just in a reflective mode for sure over these next 48 hours simply because the journey we have been on together here on YouTube has been uh, hard at times, inspiring all the time basically like there's moments where i've been challenged for sure to keep this baby going but um we've made it now to number 999 and so today i'm gonna take it a little easier because i actually need a little more time for editing number 1000 for tomorrow so make sure you come back tomorrow for number 1000 I, uh, whew, I, I, I don't i don't want to talk about it too much because it gets me just like in a reflective mode of thinking after just looking back on life so it's exciting uh but today i don't want to focus too much on the negative for this shoe that i'm about to talk to you about let's just say i'm a positive person i like to stay positive uh that's like how i approach life because i think it it leads to obviously better you know greater happiness in life true joy authentic joy not just like fleeting happiness but like real authentic joy if we if we remain in a positive state of mind as much as possible and just like real basic as runners like we like to be healthy people as runners especially everyone everyone likes to you know wants to be healthy but especially runners we strive for good health and so our mental game, if we are in a positive state of mind more more often than not, and listen, we all have bad days. We all, you know, need to <laughs> vent at times, don't get me wrong, but the more we can remain positive, the better we will do in training. The better, you know, the better our body will be um, reacting to our workouts. Let's get to the shoe that I'm just struggling with and is challenging me to think outside the box like is Am I missing something here? And once once I reveal it to you, uh, I want you fans out there of this shoe and of this shoe company to comment below and help me through the challenge. Help me understand what they're attempting to do. Help me uh, appreciate the shoe because guess what? This shoe company is the second largest in the world. The Adidas Ultra Boost. Yes, this is the shoe that has brought me the most challenge in 2018 for understanding why I would ever run in it. And listen, I feel a little bad because I did not, I like to put 50 miles into a shoe before I give you a full review. I only got to about 38 miles in this shoe before, according to Strava, before I said, huh, I don't think I'm gonna run in this guy anymore, but I did try, I promise. I tried 38 miles in it. Before we dive into the specs of the Ultra Boost, the Adidas Ultra Boost, I wanna just read a brief history of Adidas. And when I buy a shoe, I like to know the story behind how the company started because I think that influences the lineup of the shoes that they produce. And I was talking to the running shoe store reps a couple days ago about the On Company from Switzerland. And so anyway, here's the a little brief history of Adidas. Uh, the founder was Adolf Adi Dossler, which you can see how they got the name going there. Dossler assisted in the development of spiked running shoes for multiple athletic events. To enhance the quality of spiked athletic footwear, he transitioned from a previous model of heavy metal spikes to utilizing canvas and rubber. In 1936, Dossler persuaded U.S. sprinter Jesse Owens to use his handmade spikes at the 1936 Summer Olympics. Following Owens' four gold medals, uh, the name and reputation of Dossler's shoes became known to the world's sportsmen and, and their trainers. And so Adidas is a, and it goes on, yeah, it goes on by, they were selling 200,000 pairs of shoes every year before World War II. Anyway, and I don't know all the details of the founder and of obviously that was uh, tough times in the world history around between World War One and World War Two, uh, but this is early. Like this, when did Bowerman? Was Bowerman the '60s? Yeah, I think Bowerman was the '60s. Well, now Nike is the biggest running running shoe company in the world. Adidas, I don't know if they're the second largest running, but they're the second largest shoe company in the world. 
Now, I just share that brief history of the Adidas story because I think it's important as consumers of products and running shoes that we know the backstory because guess what? Real people designed this Ultra Boost in 2015, was the first release. And so I, as I share constructive criticism, I fully realize like real people with real stories put a lot of work into this shoe. Um, but I also realize that real people with real stories are spending their hard earned money uh, buying running shoes now and in 2019. And I wanna make sure you're just making good decisions. And on that note, the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 just released, I think a week ago, maybe 10 days ago, and I will not be purchasing that shoe, but maybe you will. And again, make your case for Adidas down below in the comments. And now the basic specs behind the Ultra Boost, 22 millimeter stack height in the heel, 12 in the toe box, which gives it a 10 millimeter drop. So a pretty high drop for a running shoe. And then the weight, and uh, probably if you've run in this shoe, I'm guessing you've noticed that it is heavy. It is, I, is this the heaviest shoe I ran in in 2018? Outside of the La Sportiva lineup, I think this is the heaviest shoe I wore in 2018, 11 ounces. So, ooh, ooh, like, ah, like, why would you want to wear an 11 ounce shoe uh, if you don't have to? That's one of my biggest concerns with this uh, Ultra Boost from Adidas. And yes, the Ultra Boost 19 that just came out is just as heavy. I think I saw on the Adidas website like 10.9 ounces, so basically 11 ounces. So that's, yeah, that's not so good. All right, let's talk about my biggest concern of the Ultra Boost. And I love you, Adidas. Well, Adidas, I'm trying to love you, but this is just a major, major major issue and it's not the weight and I don't mind actually running in, in heavy shoes I think it can help um, strengthen your legs you know maybe give you a little more strengthening workout but Adidas your prime knit upper so the upper is the top of the shoe for all of you out there that are just learning about running shoes and shoes in general this is the upper it's called a prime knit material it's thick and heavy and it is comfortable but I would say it is not breathable. It feels very, it feels like you're putting on a wool sock and like that can be comfy in the winter, but in the summer, no way. Like I, I wore this in the summertime and my foot would get hot. And especially since the shoe is black, like I could literally feel my foot like starting to sweat as soon as I put the shoe on. So a very heavy, thick prime knit upper material that I'm just not a fan of and <sighs> sloppy. It's, it just, it's sloppy. Like you can, you can see it here. It's breaking, it's collapsing in on itself, this through the toe box. And uh, this, this plastic cage is what I'm gonna call it. It feels kind of gimmicky Adidas because your logo has the three stripes, right Adidas? Your logo is three stripes, which is fine. But that should not influence the engine, the logo should not influence the direct design of the shoe. And so they, they have this plastic cage to help lock down your foot in the shoe. And they, they just went with three strips of plastic here. Why not go with four? Why not go with five? Why not go with two? You went with three, I think, because that's your logo. What? Huh? What, what, what? I don't know what they were thinking with this plastic cage on top, but not a fan. And that is my biggest concern with the Ultra Boost is the upper. It's just, it's sloppy. I felt like my foot was going to slide right off the midsole. All right, according to Adidas, the midsole, let's talk about the midsole since we're on the topic. It has what they're calling uh, TPU pellets basically what provides the Ultra Boost midsole with the energy return. They're saying there's 3,000 uh, TPU pellets inside this midsole, and it's a decent midsole. I would not call it responsive. I would call it cushioned and comfortable, but as far as like giving you back your energy, mm, not bad, but not great either. So. The, the midsole, it's not breaking. Here's the thing. Okay, one positive, because I don't want to be all negative. Durability seems really good. Like, I don't feel like I've lost... Now, I've only done 40 miles, approximately. But I don't feel like I've lost anything as far as through the midsole. And frankly, you shouldn't just after 40 miles. But uh, comfortable, yes. But responsive, yeah. 
Not in my books, not in my books. And just one brief point on the outsole, like no major concerns with the rubber. Um, yeah, it's it's like a, basically a, almost like a spider web uh, design and it's designed to be flexible, but Adidas does have this plastic plate through the midfoot called the torsion system. And it's, you know, designed to provide a little more support through the midfoot and then transfer energy forward. Um, I don't know, is it working? It's hard to tell. I didn't notice a huge benefit from this torsion system, but if you have had a, if you can feel it through your midfoot when you're running in the Ultra Boost, definitely let me know. I'll be curious to hear your thoughts on that. So that's the uh, that's the outsole. Now I always want to end on a positive note. Very comfortable, very comfortable. It's like it is. It's like wearing a slipper, granted a heavy slipper, but it is like wearing a slipper. So when could you use this? I, you know, treadmill running, you know, I think this would be fine on a treadmill where you're not on any uneven surfaces because I could see this being an ankle breaker real quick, like rolling an ankle real easy in this shoe. It just, the, the upper is just too sloppy, too flexible. Um, so, but it is comfortable and, or cross training in a gym. If you're working out in a gym, if you're riding uh, stationary bikes, if you're doing the treadmill, doing just cross training, uh, yeah, I think you could do, I think you could wear this shoe for sure. But as far as getting out there and just pounding miles, very expensive shoe if you buy it brand new, full retail, $180. Definitely, definitely not worth $180. This was my most challenging shoe of 2018. Um, all right, the keyword is ultra for the Adidas Ultra Boost. Ultra is the keyword. Thank you so much for hitting it up down in the comments and the question of the day. I hate to even ask it. What was the most challenging shoe that you wore in 2018, AKA maybe the most disappointing shoe that you ran in in 2018? And maybe you don't have one. If you don't have one, bonus points. That means you made good and productive purchases in the past year. But the reason I ask that question of the day is to help all of us avoid making purchases moving forward in 2019 that are maybe not so solid and it's all about you know helping each other here on youtube and helping each other make good decisions and maybe the ultra boost 19 has an incredible upgrade i don't know i probably won't be purchasing it unless you really make the case for it down below in the comments but um and again everyone's foot is different everyone's stride is different just slightly and so this shoe might work perfectly for you i don't want to uh come across as negative nancy i simply want to share my transparent experience in the shoe with you and then you get to go to the running shoe store and actually try them on and see like yeah this is not working for me or like oh my goodness this is the best shoe i've ever run in just let me know down in the comments once you try that you rock thank you for watching the 999th daily vlog in a row Mm -mm -mm. folks oh god all right i'm not gonna get into it but i just i love you i love you mm. Mm. wow yeah seek beauty work hard and love each other